What is up guys? Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Bet you thought this was never gonna happen? Well, it's happening. Kind of. There's one problem. I tried to set this all up to record it on my PC, and I just got a black screen. It, it refuses to record the Wii. I don't know why, but it doesn't. I, I guess it just doesn't like the conversion between AV and HDMI. I tried things, couldn't figure it out. So you know what that means? Yup, we're back on the laptop. I'm recording this on my bed again with the mic propped up and the oh, it's just a disaster. I hope the audio is fine. I I tried messing with it. I thought I'd never have to record off of this thing ever again, but here we are. It's the only way I can record this, and I've done too much prep work to scrap it. So you know what? We're just gonna run it. It's, we're, it might be a disaster, but we're just gonna run it. All right, let's look at the team. So I trained up a bunch of EV trained Pokemon just for this facility. Things to note, you want the Pokemon to be at least level 60, and you want them all to be the same level. That is, that's how you do this facility. It is the exact same as how Pokemon Emerald, like anything goes, open format works in the Battle Frontier. Uh, you, most people always do this mode with just their in-game team when I see them do it on Let's Plays. I wanted to be different. I wanted to do it the way that the developers probably intended, which is to like trade up your GBA Pokemon that you EV trained and do it that way. So that's the way I've done it. Over the course of the last, I don't know, when's the last time I uploaded a video for this, like a year ago, I trained up a whole team. Honestly, I could have done it in like a week if I put my mind to it, but I got distracted and I got lazy and I wanted to do other things. So it took me forever. Um, some of these Pokemon were trained like immediately after Let's Play finished. Uh, others were trained up, like, over the course of this last month. This last month I got, like, four of the six members completely trained, uh, by just, like, every once in a while booting up the GBA and doing some grinding. So, let's take a look at the team. Aw, yeah, look at them. First up, we got Dragonite. This is the one we caught in Gadion Port at the end of the last episode. I was like, you know what, Dragonite's cool, I want to use it, let's just use this one. It's already level 55, so it'll be easy to get to level 60. I gave it the focus band because I don't have any other good items. It's it's just got kind of a mix set with Thunderbolt, Dragon Claw, Heal Bell, Earthquake. Heal Bell I decided to leave on it because like if there's any annoying statuses, I can just have Dragonite cure the whole party, which seems good. Next up we got Slowking. Slowking is uh, a Pokemon you don't see very much in Gen 3 because it's really hard to get. It's only catchable in Leaf Green, and then to get Slowking, you need to trade. So you never see anyone have this Pokemon in Gen 3, so I thought it'd be cool to use it because I have the capabilities to get this Pokemon. Let's go. Uh, I gave Twisted Spoon to boost Psychic. It's just kind of got like generic Surf, Flamethrower, Psychic, Calm Mind. I kind of wanted Ice Beam, but I decided against it because this team doesn't have any fire coverage. And I was like, I think fire is going to be more important than ice. If we run into a Dragon type, we'll just Dragon Claw. It'll be easy. I might regret it later, but I have enough... Uh, poke coupons in this game to afford the ice beam tm so you know worst comes to worst i could just buy it and we could slap it on if we find we really need it uh but yeah it's just kind of a special slow bulky sweeper kind of set it's got it's got a quiet nature uh we got aerodactyl aerodactyl's great in gen 3 because it can use double edge with a uh, rock head with choice band and it's a really good late game sweeper problem i'm dumb and mine has pressure so instead we're just gonna go king's rock rock slide flinches and that's just gonna be the whole plan we also got aerial ace because i know how these battle facilities work these people always have double team we are not gonna put up with that we're just gonna aerial ace them uh, we also got protect great and doubles this is my only pokemon to protect on it probably a dumb move but it has protect because i want to pair it with steelix steelix has soft sand it's got adamant nature it's gonna use earthquake and uh, it's going to use Earthquake with Aerodactyl on the field. So Aerodactyl's going to dodge it. And then we can use Explosion and have Aerodactyl protect and then blow up. Also, check out that Pokerus icon. You don't get to see that very much in this game. Um, it's also got Iron Tail because, I don't know, Stab. And for its fourth slot, I should probably just have Protect there. But I went with Roar because I was like, what if they set up or something? What if they, like, substitute? I don't know what people have in this facility. Because, fun fact, I've only ever cleared the first round of this. I've never done the rest of it. So I really want to actually, like, complete it for once in my life. Um, but yeah, I don't know what bullcrap is going to be in here. I haven't even watched... 
I say that like Let's Plays usually only use their in-game team for this, but I've actually only watched the first round as well because I wanted to like do the rest of it blind. Like I know what happens, I know who you fight, but I don't really know their teams or anything like that. So that's gonna be cool. And I figured, you know what, Roar, it's just kind of a get out of jail free card. If something stupid sets up a substitute or some stat boost, we can just get them out of there. Uh, then we got Hariyama. I mean, Hariyama's just always good in doubles, so I figured, let's just get a generically good doubles Pokemon. We'll give it Toxic in case there's some stally Pokemon that's annoying to KO, like Shuckle. And then we'll give it Vital Throw as its stab move. Again, someone's gonna use Double Team. I will not put up with that, we're just gonna use Vital Throw. Uh... <laughs> Uh, cross Chop is the better move for Hariyama if you just want damage, but this move doesn't miss, so I wanted this one. Then we got Fake Out, of course, always good in doubles, and Helping Hand, again, just, this is just the doubles Pokemon. Now, the cool thing with Hariyama is it's got Guts, and, uh, we can trigger that Guts with our final Pokemon, Meganium. I wanted a Pokemon that would be faster than Hariyama, uh, that also had a Poison move to, like, give it the Poison status, but... Looking into the Pokemon that can get it that are faster than Hariyama, like, uh, I didn't, because I didn't want to use Toxic, right? Because Toxic would kill Hariyama really fast. I wanted regular Poison. And, like, uh, the, the, the generic Poison moves are, like, way too low accuracy. I ended up settling on Meganium because it learns Poison Powder and it's faster and it can set up, like, screens. I don't know. It's a little weird because between the two of these, they really only have one offensive move, but we'll see how it goes. This is the team. I want it to be a lot of, like, Pokemon you don't get to see very often um, in this game. But also Hariyama's here because it's good. <laughs> so, I'm going to save the game. 36 and a half hours at the start of this. Let's just get this over with. I, so much preparation has gone into the... Oh, I have to... What, do I have to talk to you? Oh, okay. Oh, we're going to have our... I didn't... I know how the rules work. You know what? I could have leveled my Pokemon even faster, but I was stubborn. You see, there's a very important item we're going to be able to get after the first round of this. And it's an item that I have on my other Gen 3 games. But I've stubbornly been only using games that I started recently, like files I started recently to do all this for that authentic experience. Because I'm stupid. So... I'll just tell you now, the item's the lucky egg. You get the lucky egg in this game. And I I stubbornly was like, well, I don't have it yet in XD, so I can't use it. So I leveled all these Pokemon up for that. I mean, EXP share and just going through Elite Core works pretty good, too. Okay, Greel, great name. Has a bunch of, uh, like, two grass types. Hmm. What, what should we bring here? I like Rock Slide. Rock Slide looks like it's going to be really good here. So we're just going to do the Rock Slide strat, and then in, in the back, we're going to bring... I don't really like Meganium Hariyama here, so we're just going to do Dragonite Slow King. Uh, and this, this mode, actually, I should talk about the rules a little bit. This is, this is VGC rules before VGC. Um, and I believe this is the first time this rule set was... You, uh... No, yeah, right? Because doubles didn't exist in Gens 1 and 2, so, like, Stadium wouldn't have had this. I think this is the first instance of this format. Uh, you get to see both players' teams, their team preview, and then you each pick four of your Pokemon and you do a double battle. That's, it's literally VGC. This, is, this mode became VGC. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Gardevoir Houndoom. I think I'm safe to just Rock Slide Earthquake. There's no reason not to. Wow, that did nothing. You know, the fact that that didn't do much does tell me the Pokemon in here have to also be like even trained or like, like, have good items. And they just, you know, this is a rock to a great start here. Can we. Can I not get some flinches? Come on. I kind of thought the rock slide would KO, but I guess I should take into account the fact that it didn't get split there. Oh my gosh! Gamers, this this might be harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's not give up yet. I, it looks bad, but um, oh gosh, crunch. 
Did, did they really have to lead off with Houndoom Gardevoir? Like they had they had stuff like Parasect in there. What? Did go next we <laughs> holy crap i just got swept um uh, i don't i have no words what am i gonna do about that um i kind of want to stubbornly just do this again this time It'll be fine, though. I have a plan. I have new plan. Rock Slide doesn't do enough damage. They also might not lead with the same Pokemon. I don't know how the AI works in here. Okay, this... See, now that's what I'm talking about. Parasect? Yeah, give me more of that. Alright, you know what? This looks... This. This is what I'm talking about. This looks like a good rock slide. Now, I know that they're just gonna fly, flamethrower Steelix. So I'm swapping into Dragonite and I'm using, I'm using rock slide. Course it misses. <laughs> now, can I get a flinch? No? Okay. Uh, uh, oh! See, it was all part of the play. <laughs> Alright, let's heal Bell to get rid of that status. What? You know what? I guarantee you, there is like a 99% chance that this Parasect has Bright Powder. 99% chance. Again, I, I know how these battle facilities work, man. Especially in Gen 3, there's like no good held items other than leftovers. People just run Bright Powder on everything. That's the strat. Okay, the good news is it's gonna target Aerodactyl. We can we can heal this again <laughs> with Heal Bell. But I should probably get rid of the Parasect first. Oh, but I'm gonna get Ice Beam. Oh no. We just swap, but then it's just gonna spore the Slow King slot. Or I could just I'm gonna die to Ice Punch though. Uh, I have to swap. Just hope. That Aerodactyl, like, snaps out of it. Return! Return! <laughs> I guess! You know what? What other physical moves does Parasect learn? You're kind of stuck with Return, huh? So the good news is... Gardevoir can't hurt Slowking. And we can flamethrow the Parasect. The bad news is, the Gardevoir is probably going to redirect into Ice Punching Aerodactyl, but I think I'm just going to have to let that happen. <gasps> it woke up! Give me some flinches. Give me some flinches. Please flinch the Gar Critical hit on Gardevoir. Please flinch. No! All right, it has Thunderbolt. No! And the AI here, clearly, as you can already see, the AI in here is, like, good. <laughs> like, they know what they're doing. They use the highest base power moves. They do the most damage possible. The Parasect is, the Parasect is sporing the Pokemon without a status condition. Now it's just...
doing damage with return. Although it's not gonna do anything to Steelix, which is good. Okay, Parasect is gone. Which is good because I don't want to get Sport, but also bad because Parasect is other otherwise really bad. So I kind of like the thing out because Jinx is Jinx is quite strong in the third generation. Stab, Ice Beam, and Psychic. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't like that. I could set up a Calm Mind because what do Jinx and Gardevoir? Oh, it has Thunderbolt, right? Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Uh, sir, what if I just blow up? If I blow up, I win. If I manage to survive to blow up, I'll win the game. Okay, yeah, target sloking. As long as Steelix survives the turn, we'll be okay. <gasps> no, I was... Bro, I was just hyping up the AI and then it did that. Also, I realized this person's theme is putting, is, is putting Pokemon to sleep. Awesome. Well, you know what I have to say to that? Boom! <laughs> Get out of here! Uh, this is exactly why Explosion is just broken in these battle facilities. Uh, even in the single battle ones in Emerald. Because, like, if you have two Pokemon and your opponent has one, you just win the game immediately. Because Explosion is just broken. It's so good. Alright, so we beat the stupid Sleep Trainer. If we lost again, I was just going to give a, a Chesto Berry to one of my Pokemon. Um, I don't like... Spinda Lickitung, is this going to be like... Actually, like Grumpig, is this going to be a confusion theme? Please no. Um, <sighs> Slowking and Grumpig kind of beat Hariyama. But Hariyama can just vital throw everything else. I don't really want to use Meganium though, because I feel like it's kind of dead weight against a lot of these. I don't know. It's Grumpig though. We can still set up screens. You know what? We're going to bring Steelix for blowing up. Mm. Let's, let's do Aerodactyl. I've been trying to adjust the capture card audio on the fly because. I, I can't tell how loud it is. It's probably too quiet, if anything. But I'd rather be quiet than too loud. But on my laptop and with this stupid... The, the Wii being plugged into an HDMI thing. It's just... The audio is just a disaster. Okay, Cacturn Grumpig. This is workable? And yeah, important to note, we do have Fake Out. Uh, I think the play here is going to be fake out the Grumpig so that I don't... Grumpig doesn't have inner focus, right? Oh, jeez. I sure hope not. If I fake out the Grumpig and then I just set up a light screen, because these are both special attacking types, I think we'll be fine. And then next turn I can do the Poison Powder Vital Throw. I just realized Vital Throw always goes last anyway, so my, my Poison Powder Pokemon didn't need to be faster. But I still don't think there were a lot of better options. I think Meganium is still good. Yeah, okay, I do remember this person. They they are the stupid confusion user. And then Grumpig won't get confused because Bone Tempo. Yeah, awesome. Okay, we do get the light screen up, though. That's that's great. Um, Vital Throw the Cacturn. Yeah, we'll get the Poison Powder going. Ice Punch. So we'll be able to take this easily. Yeah, light screen. And I invested a lot into bulk with this Meganium. I remember that. See, there's the double team. We have Aerodactyl. We also have Vital Throw. Never. <laughs> I'm like, we have it in the back. I'm like, no. I, okay, that's fine. As long as the Vital Throw goes through, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> well, hopefully this Cacturn keeps setting up double teams because that would be great. I'd, I'd be down for that. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna try it again. Try it again. Psychic shouldn't do a ton. I mean, if it hits Hariyama, it's gonna do a decent amount. But oh, okay, that's a lot. It's doing it for me, unless it targets Meganium. Okay, well, I would rather be poisoned than toxic, so this kind of sucks. Oh, good. 
perfect. I love this game. <laughs> and then this one's gonna hit itself. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We got rid of one of them. Oh, no. I don't like seeing Smeargle whose moveset is being designed by Genius Sonori. I can only imagine the horrors that are awaiting me in this Pokemon's moveset. I think I'm just going to switch, because then I can get another fake out later. And I know it's just going to Psychic again, so we'll just switch into Steelix. And, um... I don't know, Giga Drain the Smeargle. I don't think I need to set up Reflect. I can't imagine... Smeargle, Smeargle's going to have some stupid status stuff. It's not going to have physical moves. This is going to do nothing to Steelix. I mean, it's going to do something, because Steelix has no Spadef, but... It's just teeter dancing. It's... <sighs> I should have known, man. What else was it gonna be? <laughs> oh my god. This is just, just miserable. It's the, the hypnosis trainer followed by the confusion trainer. Awesome. I love, I love this video game. I'm gonna blow up. I don't care anymore. I'm blowing up. I'm going to try to set up a Reflect before I blow up. It can take one Fire Punch, and then we can blow up. All right, we just won't... We won't get confused. We're going to blow up. Lock on! Please lock on Steel. Like, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to use an Oko move, and it's going to fail because I have Sturdy. Okay, please, just, just blow up. Blow up. It'd be so funny. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Ah, the light screen are off. No! I have to swap again. I have to swap. It's just gonna, it's gonna die. It's gonna, or just let it die. Or just let it die, and then the Pokemon. This is what's gonna happen. It's gonna die. I'm gonna switch to my new Pokemon. The Smeargle's gonna target it with Fissure, and that Pokemon's also gonna die. It's not gonna be Fissure. It's, it's gonna be something good. It's gonna be Sheer Cold, so that can hit Aerodactyl. Oh my gosh. Um, what do I even do? I think I just have to let Steelix die. I'm just, I'm just gonna try and blow up and try and reapply Light Screen. I could Fire Punch the Meganium, though. No, it's, it's not. You know what? Maybe, maybe it'll be Fissure. Please be Fissure. Please try to Fissure my Aerodactyl. Oh, it's going to reapply the lock-on. It knew it was going to take my Pokemon out, so it reapplied the lock-on in that slot. If I begin... <laughs> ah! Um... I'm going to protect, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to Oko move. It's going to Oko move that slot, because I'm locked on. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to protect. Confuse right, frick you. Teeter, it's te- What? What? Huh? Ah! <sighs> this is the second battle. This- This is the second battle! Rock slide, we got this! Please! Giga Drain the Smeargle! Please get some flinches! Can we get some flinches for once? For once in your life, Aerodactyl, flinch! Critical hit! Now get the flinches! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna... <laughs> Stop confusing me! Yes! <laughs> Die! Take some damage! Heal back up! Okay... Okay, Aerodactyl? Get through it's, it's gonna get through the stupid the stupid thing it's gonna it's gonna, not gonna be confused it's <laughs> light screen we have one more turn now it's gonna get frozen you already know it's gonna get frozen okay it's not frozen aerodex is already confused magadium is gonna get confused because of course it's gonna get confused Still at full health. Own tempo. Wow, own tempo. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Can you KO the Smeargle at least? Yes, Smeargle is down. 
We're getting there. We're making progress. Progress is being made. Spinda. Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna use Teeter Dance. Chat, do you think do you think this Spinda's gonna use Teeter Dance? I don't know, it could be anything. You know what? We'll stall. If we KO Grumpig, Spinda there's no way Spinda can hurt my McGee. <laughs> we should have just should have just giga drained the Grumpig. I should have <sighs> You know what's fine? Haryama has fake out. The Grumpig's gone. We so the we oh. Gen 3 mechanics. The Pokemon gets immediately sent in. Please, Spinda, don't attack the Hariyama. Please, Digipunch. Digi, Digipunch? <sighs> we can still win. We can still win. We can still win. Light screen is still up. We can take an ice punch. We can Giga Drain. We can KO the Grumpig. If I get through Confusion and KO the Grumpig, we can. Yeah, see, look. We can stall out. We can win the 1v1 versus Spinda. As long as I can KO Grumpig, like now. Grumpig needs to die before the light screen wears off. Please. is down. We gotta think what to do. Do I set up Reflect? I think it's gonna confuse me. I kinda need the health. If I get Drain, I can get more health. Okay, okay, okay. We can win. We can win. This is, this is good. Leftovers. It's still poisoned. It's gonna die. We just have to stall it. Yeah, we just gotta get a drink. <gasps> Flail! Okay, that didn't do that much. If we hit through the confusion. Mr. What is your name? Herlem? I never want to see your face again. Never come back here. You're not you're not welcome. Leave. Never come back. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, what what is this gimmick gonna be? I see a butterfree. I see a Raichu. Is this paralysis? Is just sleep again? I know the last match is just gonna be attract. Okay. Rock slide looks amazing. It looks incredible. Rock Slide. We could bring like Dragonite to Thunderbolt. No, no, no. We'll bring like Hariyama. Yeah, Hariyama. Fake out Rock Slide. The combo. Bring this guy and we'll blow up. Perfect. Oh, I can skip that animation. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, Navigator Lester. <sighs> Could all of your Pokemon, like four of your Pokemon are weak to rock. You couldn't have led with another rock. I don't want to see Grumpik ever again. Okay, you know what? It's going to be the same plan as last time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fake out the Grumpig. Every time I don't like Grumpig, we're faking it out because it's gonna kill my Hariyama or it's gonna use like Confuse Ray again. Wow, that did nothing. That is a bulky invested Togetic. Okay, we missed the Grumpig, but who cares? Sweet. 
Is that the... The whole gimmick of this whole set is just status moves. That's the gimmick. Because this is the... Spoiler alert. This is the Lavrina Cup. So everyone just does this every turn. This is... Is, is this fun for you? Is, is this enjoyable? Okay. I'm going to switch into Slowking. You know what? Aerodactyl's got this. I'm gonna switch Hariyama into Sloking to take a sidekick or something. Okay. We can get some flinches. Flinching is still on the table. Oh, I... I why? <laughs> Extra sensory. Move you do not see very often in Gen 3. Mostly because all the Pokemon that can learn it, learn it through like egg move, and they just learn psychic anyway, so there's no reason to teach it. Okay, we got Parod. We did not bring Dragonite, so we're just stuck with that, but. I think that's okay. I kinda wanna just start setting up Calm Mines. Oh, it's freaking body slam then to spread para too. It's just it's just all status gimmick. We're confused, we're parrot. Yeah, we were never getting through. Now, Aerodactyl's just a lost cause. We're just gonna use it to sit on the field as long as possible while Slowking sets up. That's that's gonna be the new plan. I'm gonna protect and I'm gonna I'm just gonna serve. It's like Aerodactyl's gonna go down anyway. Oh, okay. So they'll be they'll, they'll waste another turn in Aerodactyl. Okay, Togetic did the smart thing and went for Slow King. And I know it gets Hustle. Is its other ability Serene Grace? It's probably Serene Grace. I feel like I'm fighting Jirachi in Gen 3 OE right now. You know, we did stall out another Confusion turn. Maybe we can Rock Slide. I mean, we're, we're too slow because of the para. The para. Hariyama can guarantee take out the Grumpig even if Slowking gets full parried. Of course it's full parried. Of course. We're still gonna deal with this stupid Togetic. Let's fake out. Just fake out Surf again. I don't want to catch extra sensory, so. You gotta do this. So just hope that Slowking can actually attack this turn. It might try to para that, yeah, Hariyama. Okay. We're, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, and the crit. Alright. Now we can we can explosion. That's our we can win con. We can we can explosion as our win con now. We're up a Pokemon. Ooh, and Raichu's a good Pokemon to send in uh, Steelix against, unless it has Surf. <laughs> um, ooh, I think... Okay, Hariyama, I'm gonna stay in with Hariyama. I'm just gonna, like, Vital throw the Raichu, and then we're gonna swap Steelix in, because I feel like the Raichu is gonna Thunderbolt the Slow King, but it'll fail, and then we'll just blow up. Oh, or that. Yeah, that's right. Volt Tackle was released. <laughs> I forget. Volt Tackle in Gen 2 or was it first in Gen 3? I actually don't remember. I think it was Gen 3. The crit! Oh, the crit! Finally! Finally, I'm getting lucky. It's been forever. I think I'm just going to switch again because then we can guarantee another fake out, which just seems smart. And you know, we'll just blow up. We'll just blow up. There's no reason not to blow up. Wow, 
we even we even get to eat a psychic and the game is over see ya Okay, is it- I think it's four rounds? So we have one more round? It should be four, because it's like- because that's what all the Colosseums are. They're always four rounds. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to fight Lavrina. She's gonna have a Tract, and she does have both genders on her team. The Shuckle is like prime toxic target. Ooh, and there's a Blissey too. I really want to just lead Hariyama here. Um, there is a Boba Fett, another prime toxic target if it doesn't get like safeguard off beforehand. I could also just lead Steelix. Ah, oh, the mischievous is there. Um, <sighs> hmm. I just, uh, what's a good support for Hariyama? Steelix? Just blow up. <laughs> I want to blow up so bad. But there's a Mistrevis. If they like Mistrevis Wobbuffet, I guess that's actually not terrible. Maybe it is Steelix Hariyama. Although, Milotic. Milotic's a million. Uh, Thunderbolt it. <sighs> we could lead Aerodactyl again. Mm. I don't really like Slowking in this matchup. I'm going to bring Dragonite. I think one problem I'm gonna have with this team is I, I think I tried to get a little too cute with like some of the sets and so I don't have a lot of coverage like I just don't have a lot of different types of moves since my Hariyama and Meganium only have one offensive move I mean not that Meganium learns any other <laughs> offensive moves in this game it doesn't learn any more offensive moves even in modern games it, it just doesn't learn any moves okay so Wobbuffet's annoying but we did lead with our toxic Pokemon. The question is, do I even bother using Fake Out? There's probably an argument to just toxic as fast as possible so that the Wobbuffet dies as fast as possible. But no, because we could, the Wobbuffet can't do anything if we don't attack it, right? So we could just Fake Out and just start very slowly chipping away at the Milotic? That sounds smart. Because Milotic's like, probably like, in terms of how good a Pokemon is, probably one of the best Pokemon on her team. Milotic's just really, just really good Pokemon. I mean, we, we basically got down to like 55% immediately, which is great. I kind of feel like, again, Mob Effect can't do anything if we don't attack it, so let's just keep attacking the Milo Dick. Unfortunately, I'm going to get hit by, like, a Hydro Pump and die with Aerodactyl, but, I mean, I can't switch, so... Oh, wait, it's Lavrina! She's going to she's gonna confuse my... All right, I forgot, I forgot what... I forgot what Coliseum this was. It's the really annoying Coliseum. I see the synergy. The Milo Dick uses Confuse Ray, and then I can't swap to get rid of the Confusion because of Mob Effect. Well, your Milotic's gone. That actually went really well. Okay, Meganium. Another bulky Pokemon that, like, Toxicking would be really nice. Uh, but I'll, I think I'm just gonna Helping Hand. Helping Hand's really good here. Helping Hand, try to kill the Meganium. Although, we're confused, so... <laughs> this actually probably wasn't a good idea. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm so good at this game. Big damage on the Meganium. I don't have to help again next turn. Oh, but it is going to Leech Seed. If it has leftovers, I might unironically need to helping hand again. Yeah, I think I think Aerial Ace might just miss out on the KO. I'm not super sure, but her Meganium has to be like invested in bulk. So. I see what the okay. The good news again is that she just straight up has a dead team slot right now. <laughs> the Lava Fett just can't do anything. Uh, Shadow Tag, insane ability in doubles, but Wabafet itself 
terrible doubles Pokemon. Wobbuffet is banned in Gen 3 OU. But doubles? Wobbuffet is not good in doubles. It is just being used for its ability. Does anything even get Shadow Tags other than Wobbuffet in this game? I know things get Arena Trap. Like, Dugtrio is amazing for the Arena Trap, but... Yeah, Wobbuffet, I don't know if that was the call here. Okay, now we have two Pokemon that just, like, lose to... They just, they just auto lose to Toxic, so let's just do that. So toxic, the Shuckle, and I still can't switch out because of Wobbuffet, so stealing the Shuckle, I don't know. I see two can play at this game. Maybe I should have brung Dragonite. Well, it's probably gonna Toxic Kariyama next, which is only a only a good thing for me. The the Leech Seed with Shadow Tag into uh, sending Shuckle to become the new Leech Seed recipient is a pretty it's a pretty good move. I'll, I'll give her that. That's a that's a. That's like a pretty smart strategy. You know, Shuffle can just sit here forever. But I mean, like, even Steelwing, it's not doing like terrible damage. And now it has turned on our guts. <laughs> of course, this final battle is the easiest one. Of course. Look at that damage. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna rock slide. I don't care if I get countered, because uh, I kind of want to switch out, and I can't. So toxic lava fat, we'll just rock slide. I mean, it's not gonna do anything. Anymore. And with toxic on the lava fat, we have won the battle. It is impossible for her to win now. Never mind, it has Lumberry. Lumberry? Really? Well, I have great news. We Oh! <laughs> I did bring Dragonite. This whole time I'm like, I didn't bring Dragonite. I forgot that I decided to bring Dragonite. Well, I at this point it's whatever, because I don't want to be unpoisoned. Charm. Charm. It's gonna try to survive my explosion. You idiot, this is Gen 3. You can't survive explosion in this gen. Unless you're me, baby. <laughs> okay, you know what? The charm, it worked. I, I talked all that smack, the charm, it was a good play. Okay, it was, it was a good play. I'll admit it, it was a smart play. Oh wow, it's actually the 1v1. Uh, well, we win though, because I have a non-attacking move. Also, I'm mixed attacking, so like, good luck trying to figure out which one I'm gonna use. But I can also just play the lame way and just use Heal Bell until you faint. Ooh, it thinks I'm gonna go for a special move. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I am dragon type. We're gonna do it again, uh, because I wanna not lose. No, so. I'm not even trying Earthquake. Because it could switch it up. Yeah, okay. It even knows. It's like, it's a Dragonite. It's gonna have both. But, uh... I don't need to play this stupid 50-50 game. See, I, I knew Heal Bell was, was a good play. If this was another offensive move, I would've had to play... I, I would have a 50% chance to just lose. Okay. We have finished the first round. I was not expecting it to be this much of an ordeal that said i think it was a really entertaining video so i'm happy with how it came out <laughs> oh man
What do we get for winning that? We get... Oh, Poco Coupons. Only 500, but whatever. Oh, and then Egan will have a reward for us. <gasps> and then we get... Westport. Hello, I'm sorry to be writing you without any notice in advance. I obtained your number from Egan. There's something odd happening in our village. If you could visit us when you... Yeah, so uh, that is the start of the side quest to obtain the lucky egg. Definitely something we're going to be doing. It is an incredibly boring and tedious side quest. But the reward is a lucky egg, which is like impossible to get in this game. Because the only way to get it is by catching chances in the safari zone. And then oh, just hope they have the 5% lucky egg. No, I will not be doing that. I will be getting the free one from this game's side quest. Congratulations, my hat's off to you for a most splendid victory. In recognition of your brave achievement, Westbert, Lavrina has conferred on you a new title. Oh my gosh, Lavrina's fan club member number one. This title seems to express Lavrina's feelings. I was so impressed by your toughness. Because you are so tough, I'll let you be the first member in my fan club. Oh, that was Lavrina. <laughs> all right we got a tm yeah that's right you get tms for each one of these so you know that's something what's tm06 it's toxic of course it's toxic why wouldn't it be toxic well that's gonna be it for this episode next episode i don't know if we'll do the side quest or if we'll just keep doing the battles oh man uh i'll see you guys next time